Another force in simulation bullet is force. It's like act attractor in the forces here. It's attracting or rippling the, uh, not only, in this case, just these uh, dynamic objects. As we can see, we have a cloner that we clone a sphere and we assign the tag from tag bullet tag rigid body here. It's automatically assigned to all of the cloners. And this is a force. <clears throat> Simulation bullet force. As we can see, it's a simple thing, simple sitting. And in, in this case, it's off. If I play, as you can see, all of our uh, dynamic objects are falling down. But if you assign the force, as you can see, the force, its um, positions is not important. It's attracting all the dynamic at the center of the software. Or with this fall off, it has just a fall off, a simple fall off. If you assign the force, as you can see, all of the objects that has a dynamic, they are snapping to each other. Just you have to change the strings, give a high number for more <clears throat> rippling, as you can see, for more attracting, suddenly attract. If you give a negative number also, they are pushing apart, bling, vice versa, boom. With this uh, fall off, exactly at the center of the software, okay? Okay, so we can assign a number here, going back and snapping to each other. Nice. It's a damping. If you want, you can increase or decrease the damping, how slow or fast doing this mode. Respect mass, it means if we have a dense or a lighter or heavier object, it's respect its mass. For example, you can go in here and click and drag another sphere and make it a little bigger. As you can see, we have a small and big object here. As you can see, it does not con it's 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 respect the mass. If you give you a smaller number. As you can see, it attract more these objects. If you don't want to respect the mass, if you want to be uh, behavior all objects, it's uh, equal. It means it does not concern or calculate the uh, weights of and the shape of the shapes, shape of the uh, objects. You can take turn it off. As you can see, more dense objects are going fall down because we need more forces to attract heavier objects, okay? And this is a fall off. It means these strings, <clears throat> how these strings will act, in which shape, it's a fall off. For example, we have an inner distance, or outer distance in here, inner distance and outer distance. It means uh, we have a full of that strength in inner uh, distance that is going zero to the outer distance. You can turn it with this slope here. You can make it a step, suddenly do that, or linear or other inverse, inverse square, inverse cubic here. It's all about shape. That's all of the shape that you are here. So I bring it in a inverse square if you want. <clears throat> it's the shape of that. So you learn that you can give a positive or negative number here. Okay, that's the force that's creating like this. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.